Welcome to Google New York. We've got a special day plan. We have 107,000 drawings. And you guys are in the top 40. One of you will get to become part of Doodle history. His or her doodle will be on the homepage all day. Kids really brought their imagination to things. Kids see the world through a lens that adults can't really see it through anymore. The works that really stood out for me were the works where the student artists brought something really personal to the drawing. We look for creativity, uh, quirky or just beautifully drawn or something that's very simple yet striking. I think the Doodle for Google contest is a great way of showing that there's a worldwide community of creative minds at work, that it's happening at all levels, at all age levels and that there's this tremendous natural resource of creativity and innovation out there. We partnered this year with the Whitney to produce the incredible display of your artwork, which will be on Fifth Avenue. But this year, we also partnered with the SF MoMA. It's really cool. Who's excited? Woo! We're going to make a stop now at Dylan's Candy Bar. I think that we're seeing a lot of kids here who will be the, the creative thinkers and the innovators of tomorrow. Do you know for Google is awesome? Being a kid is pretty cool and you should not lose that. I think taking fun seriously is really important. One great way to protect your creativity is to form a community and this is a great place to start. This year the winning student is Mateo Lopez from South San Francisco, California. You're all winners because you're succeeding at something that you're passionate about and that you love and that's art.